Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, my name is uh, Muhammad Ajdi, and today I will I will do a presentation uh, for subject uh, financial management BFM four zero two three, and we will do we will present uh, our group assignment title uh, which is uh, Bank Islam Malaysia Bahar. So uh, this is our group members. Uh, the first one is me, Muhammad Ajdi bin Fauzi. Second one is uh, Muhammad Osman bin Hashimi And third one is Muhammad Aiman bin Ahmad <laughs> First slide we go to the introduction uh, This is uh, this report is contained about uh, evaluation of financial, financial performance Of Bank Islam Malaysia Berhad Financial performance uh, is a complete evaluation of a company's overall Standing in a category such as asset, liabilities, equities, expenses, revenue and overall profitability uh, financial statement evaluates a uh, company for company's performance uh, or value through a company's balance sheet income statement and statement of cash flows uh, by using a number of uh, techniques such as uh, horizontal vertical or ratio analysis inventories may develop a more uh, nouns uh, picture of company financial profile <laughs> Okay, next, uh, we go to the company profile. Okay, uh, uh, first one is a uh, company background. Bank Islam uh, was uh, not founded out of Muslim arrogance or to portray Islam in Malaysia. Bank Islam aims to show the incorporating Islamic finance into our into our economy won't be disastrous. Uh, in today's modern economy, uh, an Islamic banking system needs a uh, trusted competence to build, uh, to build and govern the system, not a gesture or symbol or symbols. Uh, Tuan Dr. Mahadi Muhammad congratulate Bank Islam on it established on July uh, 1st, 1983, or or the 20th of. Ramadan uh, 1403 uh, Hijrah on Friday. Okay, next, uh, we go to the next slide, which is uh, authorized capital. Authorized, uh, authorized share capital is a number of stock units share that a company allow to give to give uh, out as a uh, state in a um, Memorandum or Association or Articles of Incorporation uh, Bank Islam uh, started out with uh, as authorized capital of RM500 uh, million and paid in capital of uh, 79.9 million ringgit uh, Over time, uh, bank, uh, the bank has increased its authorized capital to RM2 billion ringgit and its paid in capital to uh, 563 million ringgit So next we go to the paid up capital Paid up capital is the money that uh, shareholder has given A company in exchange for shares of uh, stock uh, Paid up capital is made when a company Sell its uh, shares directly to directly to investor uh, On the primary market Bank Islam Malaysia Berhad paid up capital have uh, three which is the first one is uh, Syariah Compliance Financing SSFS uh, Money Market and Term Deposit uh, Term Deposit I Tawaruk Okay next We go to the Board of Director uh, which is the first one is uh, Tan Sri Dr. Ismail Haji Bakar uh, which is uh, Chairman or an Independent Non-Executive Director Second one is uh, Datuk Nik Muhammad uh, Hashiuddin Yusof uh, is a non-independent and non-executive director. Uh, next, we go to the Datuk Sri Kazali Ahmad, uh, which is a independent non-executive uh, director. Next, we go to the Azizan Ahmad, uh, which is independent non-executive director or senior independent director. Next, we go to Datuk Sri Amrin Awaluddin. Uh, which is non independent executive director. Okay, next we go to the uh, company vision, mission, and objective. The first one is uh, Bank Islam 
vision which is the bank uh, that advise pro prosperity prosperity for all uh, next we go to the mission uh, which is uh, to provide solution that deliver value and uh, last we go to the objective is uh, to generate sustainable business growth that sim that uh, simultaneously support the socio-economic progress of the local communities and competitiveness of uh, enterprise and marketplace and well-being of individuals and society. Okay, next, uh, I will give to my partner to continue the presentation. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Me, Muhammad Osman bin Hashimi. Uh, I will continue our presentation uh, about revenue of PIB Bank Islam Malaysia Berhad First of all, we need to know what is revenue. Revenue is the money that come uh, that you get when you when you when you sold your product or goods. Also by uh, PIB itself, it sold their service to the people like in the banking, in the best, in the investment, in the property, in the loan. So it's about service. Also, it has a good to the uh, people. Uh, like uh, like we can see in the in this diagram, uh, show the revenue of PMB for the three year 2019 until 2021. Uh, in 2019, 2000, two, uh, in in 2019 until 2020, it should decrease. Also, when the 2020 until 2021, it should decrease more. It's uh, due to the some factor. Like we can see, uh, of PMB charted uh, increase 19.1 percent in total revenue. Uh, in total revenue of 2019, uh, RM. The group of PMB based on this chart increase 90.1 percent in total revenue of. Uh, in total, uh, RM 3.6 billion compared to the 2018 or the previous year, which is uh, which has driven with by strong earning in particular from its banking and takaful operation. So in the, uh, in, the, in 2019, it get more revenue because of the banking and takaful operation made a lot of profit from that a lot of service that uh, they sold also when Islam is uh, they ordered this increase revenue of total 3.3 billion in 2020 and 3.2 billion for the year under review 2021 uh, which is 5.2 lower than 2020 in 2021 or the last year, Islam also uh, um, just get 3.3 billion for their uh, just get 3.2 billion for their revenue. Uh, the, this decrease because of their uh, economic environment and the slow and, and the slowdown in the property sector and margin cooperation that we know when the pandemic COVID-19 happened worldwide not only Malaysia but worldwide so it will affect the banking also affect the bank Islam is a berhak so it cannot sell like it cannot sell their service like before a uh, year before pandemic COVID-19 so this is great okay next for the profit after that Profit after tax is how much money made after all tax has been taken out. This is a la, this is the last bit of money left over uh, after a business he made a profit. Like PMB, uh, like the before that, uh, it should decrease from year to year. Also same in the profit after tax. You can see 2019 until 2021 it should decrease. Not increase but just decrease more than 
2019. Uh, we can say the, the net profit of 2019 has highest uh, at 843 million before zakat and tax and profit after tax increased 16.7% to 620,000 million in 2019 against 593 million in the previous spending period it is because finance financial uh, financial year and then end December 2019 the group post of uh, 840 billion uh, increased 30.1 by higher than expected earnings from Bank Islam and Takah from Malaysia. But in 2020 and 2020 more, it showed decreased profit through the affectation of operational and, and, and financial measures. And financial measures. The group for the net part is about a liquidity ratio of PMB. Liquidity ratio, uh, a type of financial metric used to figure out if a debtor can pay off its current debt without getting more money from the outside source. <coughs> also, in for BNB, uh, the the gram show the current ratio uh, is level up or the same in 2019 to 2013, which is 1.09 times but in 2021 it decreased uh, 0.01 due to the less current asset they are get to, to get the current ratio make to do some calculation like current ratio current asset must be per by current level now we move to uh, effection ratio uh, first is uh, earning per share uh, earning per share or APS which stand for the earning per share uh, present present a company analyzed net profit a dividend by the number of common share of stock it has outstanding uh, because it uh, measure of profit for profitability on uh, per share basis APS is commonly used by investor to estimate the value of a company per share uh, in a simple term APS is uh, in uh, conclusion uh, the sh uh, that show how profitable uh, a company is per share so APS can be uh, described uh, as a amount of money each share of stock would receive if a company profit was uh, distributed to shareholder uh, at the end of year. We look to the graph uh, in 2019, earning per share in Bank Islam, uh, Bank Islam Malaysia Berhad is uh, 44.75 cent and then 2022 22.90 uh, uh, cent and then 2021 it also decreased uh, to 21.87 cent and then we move to uh, return on asset the term the term return of asset refer to financial ratio that indicate how profitable a company is re relation to its total asset corporate corporate uh, management analysis and advanced investor can use uh, return on asset to determine how efficiently a company use it asset to generate uh, to generate a profit uh, we look at uh, 2020 uh, 2019 is 1.22% uh, and then 
decrease to uh, 0.746% and then this also decrease in 2021 uh, it be 0.8.2% and then we look to the return of equity return of equity is a measure of a financial uh, performance calculated by dividend dividing uh, net income by shareholder equity because shareholder equity is equal to a company asset my minus it that uh, return on equity is considered uh, the return on net asset return or equity is considered uh, a gauge for a corporation profitability and how efficiently it uh, generate a uh, profit in 2020 uh, in 2019 when islam make uh, Return on asset is uh, 50.17% uh, and then decrease to 12.1% uh, in 2020 and then also decrease uh, in 2021 uh, which, uh, which is 11.1% uh, and then we move to the next uh, analysis, uh, financial analysis, which is a revelation ratio. Uh, that ratio, the term that ratio refer to a financial ratio that measure to extent of a company leverage. The debit, uh, the debt ratio is uh, defined as a ratio of total debit to total asset expressed uh, as uh, the camel or per percentage it can be uh, in the uh, as the proportion of a company except that the financial by debt and then a ratio uh, greater than one show uh, that uh, consider the potential potential of a company that in fund by asset which mean a company has more liability than asset in uh, bank islam berhad case is uh, in 2019 is 91.69% and then uh, decrease to 91.79 at 2022 and then at, at 2020 uh, and then at 2021 is increase to uh, 70 uh, 72.22 percent not very good for this and then we move to time earn time interest uh, earn Time interest earn uh, ratio is measured to company uh, ability to meet uh, it that obligation based on the current income. The formula of company uh, time increase earn number is earning before in, uh, in interest and tax dividend divided by the total in uh, interest payable on bond and other uh, debt. Uh, in 2021, the time interest earned on Bank Islam Berhad is 4.69 times and then 2022 4.89 times and then 2021 is 
52 times and now we move to profitability ratio at the operating margin margin the operating margin uh, me, uh, measure how much profit a company make on dollar of sale after paying the variable cost of production such as work uh, and raw, raw material be but before paying interest or tax it is calculated by divide a company corporation income by net sale uh, higher ratio or uh, gener generally better is illustration uh, is illustration the company is efficiently uh, in its operation and is a good at a uh, turning sale on profit now we look uh, operator income in Bank Islam at 2090 is 70.26% and then 2022 2020 20.78% uh, 70, uh, and then 2021 is uh, 34.35% and then we move to net profit margin net profit margin measure how much net income or profit is generated by percentage of revenue it is the ratio of the net and revenue for company or business segment uh, net profit margin is typically expressed as a percentage but it also can represent in decimal form. The net profit margin illustrates how much of each dollar in a revenue collection by company uh, translate into profit. Uh, we look at uh, 2090 which is the net profit margin in bank Islam Braha is 22.39% and then 2020 which is the 40.62% and then uh, 2021 uh, the net profit uh, profit net profit margin is 22.23% ok for the next part is problem and issue uh, like in this uh, for the news like uh, it say Kuala Lumpur in 2000 February, 28 February Islam Asia Bank Islam Malaysia Merhat net profit for the 4th quarter and December 21st, 2021 is live 55% to 79.74 million ringgit Malaysia from one from 177.31 million in the same period previous year the bank attribute the net profit reduction greater allowance charge for impairment on financing and advance during the current period principally owing to expected credit loss granted to one one non-retail customer which then impaired to in the period ok uh, lastly we go to the conclusion slide ok uh, for short term liabilities the liquidity ratio is uh, useful for tool of determining uh, organizations ability to pay uh, companies that have uh, high liquidity ratios are better able to pay their debtors more than uh, 2 over 1 is uh, deemed acceptable in the liquid, liquid to solid ratio. Uh, sales, cost and asset data can be used to calculate an asset's return on investment ROI. Uh, 
uh, this ration aids uh, in in the identification of the most efficient use of the company's asset, which in turn aids is efficiency management. Uh, besides, uh, leverage ratio is a measure on how much money a company is borrowing. Uh, analyzing the overall debt of the organization aids in determining the financial stability of the enterprise. A company's ability uh, to generate profits from its operation is typically assessed using uh, using the profitability ratio. Not just that, uh, profit is the difference between the amount of money a company makes and the amount of money it spends. So that's all from us. Uh, thank you.